All right, real quick video on that hurricane or anything that uses a nozzle for fuel, diesel, heck, even propane probably. I've never done it with a propane, always clean them with alcohol, but here we go. I've had this for a couple years. It's clean. I just take it out. I, I rebuild own-in gas carbs. I'm slowly running out of those kits. So this is a gunk carburetor parts cleaner, right? It's got a little basket and all that good stuff right here, you know. There you go, and it comes up. There you go. See, so I'll let that go back down in there, right? Blah, 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 blah. And then I took the nozzle apart, okay? Remember, that was pretty dirty. I cleaned it, but uh, I lift it up, drop that one in there. Nope. I need to stick my finger in there. It's probably healthy, huh? And important is the air distributor, right? Hold on, getting it up. The air distributor. Remember, it's got cuts in it. You got to clean them. I already did with a brush. I'll let it soak in there a good 24 hours. And I'll have me another nozzle in its tube ready to go. Okay. So let me see. I'll show you my tube I got somewhere right here. Yeah. Right here. Remember I showed you this. I keep one extra when I go out. I keep every extra part for that hydronic heating system because I ain't doing without good heat in that coach. Um, thank you very much. It's Jeff from RV Don. I was just showing you a quick little video how I soak stuff in a carburetor cleaner. It's been around for years. All right. Thank you very much. What's the motto? Test not guess. You're right. Safe travels. May your campfire burn bright till we meet again. Where? May he meet here at the RV Don garage and school. Now, the school's been taking off really good lately. Everybody's having fun coming down. Some people let me video them. Some people don't. So um, I have to respect that. And the other one is I might meet you on the road traveling. I'll blow my air horns and you wave. And there you go. That's why I show everybody what I have. 99 Beaver, green and white. Um, I'm thinking about getting uh, somebody does tinning and, and what you call wrap. And we're going to put RV Dionysics across that and shade that a little bit. All right. And look, that's what I painted the other day. I got her looking nice again. So, all right. Or I could meet you at a filling station, right? You're getting gas or diesel. Come on over and say hello or, you know, whatever. And the other one is I could meet you at a campground. All right. Could meet you at a campground. If you see me, come on over and talk. I'll give you a little tour of the coach, right? That'll be like one minute. Um... 40 foot ain't much, but uh, it's got one big old slide, and we're probably going to put another custom slide, and we'll see what happens. The economy isn't doing that great, but it doesn't matter to me. Um, so, once again, thank you very much for subscribing and giving me a thumbs up, right? And put in comments. I respond to them. Every last one I respond to. I got uh, 30,000 members almost on my Facebook page. And I got several members on my website where I do one-on-one. -on -one. Like right there, I'm watching you do it through the video link remote, which is a, you know, it definitely took off since COVID. Um, once again, thank you. And the motto is, test not guess.